Hey guys, me and Alex are back with our next awesome box sent from a subscriber. Yeah, and this one's massive. It's massive. There was so much candy in the last one, but this one, yeah. it's massive. There's so much stuff in there. I've had a little look. There's some loose things on top, but as you get deeper, she has popped together zip bags full of candy and snacks. So I reckon we've got a lot to try. Are you hungry? <laughs> yeah, I am actually. <laughs> and from the box, we think this is from a subscriber called Catherine, but she's but left she's us a, a little card. note. Um, so we'll find out now. Let's get into it. it. It's a lovely blue card with a little pink bike on. How does she, little know, does I, she know? How does she know I like cycling? <laughs> and you like flowers. <laughs> okay, so it says, hi, few more American snacks to try, some specific to the Northeast United States and some not so much. We'll leave it to both of you to guess which is which. That's quite cool, mm. actually. Answer is easy enough to figure out by reading the packaging. <laughs> so if we can't find out, it's easy enough. Oh, Katie. Her name's actually Katie, oh, a bit cool. like me. Yeah. My name's so Catherine. So we can't forget that, can we? So Katie, thank you so much for sending this. It's so heavy. And the other thing is, they say people from England are modest, I think. Right. You know, quite yeah, reserved. Yeah, yeah. yeah, reserved. I love how she said a few more American snacks to try. A few more. Just a few. Yeah, just a few. We'll have a look in there. <laughs> a few that's going to take us a few hours to eat. <laughs> this is this is going to be awesome. I reckon we've actually got some savouries on top. Yeah, I'm so excited we to start with that? in with the savouries. We've got like two savouries on top. So where is she from then? Marlborough? Yeah, it looks like MA. Marlborough. MA. State is MA. Massachusetts, isn't that? Hey, cod. They look awesome. They look really good. These are waffle cut sea salt crisps. And these are $1.69. Personally, for that size of bag, I think that's quite expensive. Do you not think? Yeah, but I reckon these are luxury. Well, yeah, and look at the branding. I and bet also, this is the best sea salt you've ever had. This says here, like, non-GMO, gluten-free, mm. non-preservatives. So I reckon if this is more of, like, you know, not just a, a shop brand. Yeah. It's a, and then we've got Mama Zuma. Mama Zuma's. Oh, these look lovely. Look at that. Looks like a tennis racket. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> cool. So good. That's really nice. They remind me of when I'm in America and you get like a sandwich with some crisps, crisps on, the, on side. the side. It's just, that's what it is, isn't so, it? So sea salt, I was thinking, oh, is this like ready salted or is it like salt and vinegar? Mm. More ready salted, isn't More it? More ready salted. They are delicious. What are you giving them? A nine. I'm giving I them love a nine. I so much. And I never often pick up ready salted crisps, well, sea salt crisps, but I when you do, you... they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah, so good. Habanero potato chips. Oh, I couldn't mm. see that before. So do you reckon these are spicy? Yeah. Get too close to Mama Zuma and you will get burned. Oh dear. This woman is determined to <laughs> scorch everyone in her path. Mama Zuma's weapons are the hottest jalapeno and habanero. Habanero. Is that, am I saying that right? Well, you know, when you tried um, the Scotch bonnet, yeah. didn't loads of people comment saying oh, yeah. You're, that's a habanero? Yeah. Um, and I think they're the same, but... Since she lost the love of her life in a bizarre and tragic potato peeler accident, Mama Zuma has been hell-bent on burning every mouth she kisses with her special brand of passion. Warning, That's amazing. These chips are made of some of the hottest peppers on the planet. Oh no, I'm gonna have the smallest one, I think. Ready? Dad would love these. Oh, they look oh, like whoa. they've got a lot of... They're Don't literally touch these and then touch your full face. of um, they look flavor. Strong. Cheers. So orangey, aren't they? Cheers. Oh, damn, they are hot. Damn, son. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> On the whip. Why am I still eating? I thought I could do that, but oh my word. They are so hot. That's crazy. I've never seen these before. I wonder if these are native to the northeast yeah but they're so hot at first i thought they were okay and i was going to eat the rest of that but my whole entire mouth is burning it's hot, and right? my throat is like <laughs> katie let me know are these a bag of crisps you love eating yeah. or did you just want to put them in there because they're quite you wanted to see and, us and you pain. wanted to see us in pain <laughs> that's spicy though great flavor did but... give you a cough didn't it like yeah. In the back. It's a great flavour, but they are strong. Yeah, it's a really nice flavour, mm. actually. But, um, yeah. Love that. Wowzers. Who else has had those before? Mm, let us know. Can you even eat a whole bag if I'm you struggling. ever eat those? 
Please, can we try these? Yeah. Wow, these look incredible. So, marshmallows. These are by a mate called Smash or Smash Mallow, and the flavour is cinnamon churro. That's now, I'm either so going to love these or, well, I don't I hate them. I don't reckon these are all over America. I think no. these look quite independent -y. I might be wrong, tell me if I'm wrong. No, by this branding. Well, I've never seen this before. No. This almost looks it a looks bit more new. British, doesn't it? I think it looks it? quite new. It does look new. Really nice packaging. And once again, these say deliciously non-GMO. Simple ingredients. I love the packaging, don't you? Look yeah. like it's like a fairground. This is no ordinary marshmallow. This is Smashmallow. Each mouth-watering puff is made from only the very best naturally sourced and delicious non-GMO ingredients. This is amazing. Whoa. Ooh. They smell like a dessert. No, mm. they smell like um, churros, don't they? Churros. <laughs> They're really, like, pillowy, aren't they? Oh, so pillowy. Whoa. And there's full-on sugar on the outside, isn't there? It tastes so much like the um, the dessert plan check, the, um, the, the like churro donut, donut churro donut, thing. Yeah. I love these. They're much more of a um, what's the word I'm looking for? Boutique marshmallow. You know, the, yeah. you, they're not just the normal marshmallows you find. Artisan. You Artisan. Mean. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm, they're so good. Perfect pillowy bite. I love it. You know, like the peeps. It's marshmallow, but it's more covered. Of like a, in like a sugary. Mm -hmm. We don't have that here, they're no. always just plain. That's amazing. Yeah. Nine. I do like it, but I think there's other stuff I prefer, so I'm gonna go yeah. eight. Because you're gonna probably not the eight. biggest marshmallow fan, are you? I'm gonna go eight. Speaking oh, can I put my hat on? Yeah. Katie knows that I like hats, so she sent me a... <laughs> oh my word, that's probably why it's in there. Yeah, because she's from Massachusetts. Yeah, Boston, Massachusetts. Okay, so these are called combos or combos made with real cheese. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, combos. Think, I don't think they're Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the <Combos>. combos. <laughs> <laughs> made with real cheese, bait snack, cheddar cheese pretzel. Now, it's funny. You say now so many times. I know. Here you go. Now. now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa. They're like. Little, oh. they're like pretzel sticks. From but here, cuts. I thought they were going to be really small, but they're actually yeah, quite, quite chunky. chunky. They're like pretzel sticks filled with cheese, is it? Oh wow. That is delicious. And they're um, slightly salty. Whoa. Oh, that's so good. That cheese is still soft. Mm. I've I'm... never seen these before. No, never. But I feel like I've seen the combos before. I feel like they do other things. Now, I'm not always the biggest pretzel fan. I prefer them with the flavour like the sour cream and chive. Mm. But they are delicious. These are so good. Mm. I'm just going to keep going. I'm giving those an eight. I'm giving those a nine. Oh, yeah. Mm. They're so you. good. Mm. Looks like we've got mm. another savoury snack here. These say hot buffalo wings, but I have checked and I don't think they've got meat in. So it's like artificially flavoured sourdough hard pretzel. They sound so good. First thing with flavour. I wonder how hot they're going to be. I know. Cinders of Hanover, America's pretzel bakery since 1909. Whoa. They smell hot. And they almost. Katie trying to burn our mouth off. I think she is. Oh, Whoa, cool. they're massive. But it says so sourdough nice pretzel. So I wonder what how different they'll be. Mm. Ooh, they're a nice heat. Mm. My tongue is burning a bit, but it's nice. They're nice. I think I actually prefer those to the combos. No, I pref still prefer the combos. Do you? These are nice. No, I'm giving them a nine. I definitely still prefer these. Mm. So they're a eight. These were a nine. I can't believe I've given something hot a nine. Mm. <laughs> they're not too spicy. Where do we begin? We've got. One, two, oh my word, three, four. Ooh, we've got cans here. Should we look at these? Oh, wow. We've got two. Should we have a look at them and then maybe yeah. put them in the freezer for a bit? Yeah, good idea. Blueberry patch frogs. That's so You cool. have literally... Oh my word, there's so, so much So much stuff. in each one. You could have literally just sent us this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this can looks awesome. Distinctively different, moxie. Is it, it like, looks like iron, iron brew. brew? Does it say anything on there? I can't see anything. Have a look. Oh my word. 
This is cute. This is the cutest can I have ever seen. Alex, look at that. Oh my word. How cute. And this is cranberry lime. Polar. Seltzer. Is that like sparkling water? Seltzer. Yeah, I think so. Calorie free. Yeah, should we pop these in the uh, yeah. fridge or freezer? What do you freezer, I reckon. Oh, maybe. We, ooh. Ooh, you can have more. Oh, maybe. Ooh. So this is blueberry patch frogs. Whole dried blueberries and roasted cashews smothered in rich caramel and premium milk chocolate. Woo! So these are like in the last video we did, link up there. They're we like had another box things, from a subscriber, they? yeah. And we had these kind of like little clumps. Oh, sorry, the clusters. Yeah, the little clusters. But you didn't like them because they were, well, you did like them, but you thought they'd be Just better they're... milk chocolate. But these are like, these are milk chocolate. So you might like these a bit more. I was looking oh, ahead. I didn't No, your... this says New England at heart. So this oh. is obviously from there, because she said it'll be obvious. Oh, oh wow. they're cool. They look like flowers rather than frogs. You only get three, and they look expensive, don't they? Yeah. Just things is that, that just like a little blue, dry a little dry blueberry on top. Mm. Oh wow, chewy. That's so good. There's a caramel in it. That's so good. Wow. I really want to eat a whole one of those, but. There's so much to try, I'm not going to. Wow. That's so that good. That caramel isn't it? is delicious. So it's full of caramel in there with some little blueberry bits. Mm. Wow. We don't have anything like that no. here, do we? I'm going to give that a 10. I think I'm going to give I that a 10. I love that so much. That's, That's just delicious. as good as those things in the last video. Oh my word, it's a little New England lobster. 100% oh. pure maple candy. Maple candy. Ben Sugar Shack. Oh my word, those blueberry frog patch frogs were amazing. Look at it. She probably kept thinking, oh, need to try that, need to try that. Oh my word, that's amazing. Is it almost like marzipan or not? I don't know. <laughs> Lobster flying. Mm. Oh, it's got like something in the middle. They're like fudgy. Yeah, like the maple version Whoa. of fudge. Obviously so sweet and caramelly. Mm. It's crunchy, but then as it goes mm. in your mouth, it like melts, doesn't it? Mm. You know, sometimes you can get the fudge where it's really like chewy and melting up, or you can get the crumbly stuff yeah. where it then melts. This is more crumbly. It's got a darker edge and a lighter inside. That's so good. You can taste the maple syrup. I don't think I could eat a whole one on my own. No, because it's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure if you're in the right, you know, situation, you could manage it. I've eaten that much fudge before. That's a really nice flavor. Mm. Really good. I'm going to give that an eight. Yeah, I'll give that an eight as well. That's good, isn't Amazing. It? I've actually seen these before and I think you've actually had one before, haven't you? No, I've never had one of these, but I have oh. had Justin's peanut butter when we were staying in LA. But these are the peanut butter cups with Justin's inside. So these are organic. So they're like the Reese's ones, mm -hmm. but maybe better. Like a different brand, maybe a more independent brand, yeah. uh, maybe more, or it says organic, so maybe they're just trying to be a bit more better with their ingredients or something. Oh, they're in like a white case. Ooh, it looks um, really soft in the middle, doesn't it? Oh, well, that's so good. Can't believe I've never had these before. Yeah, I feel like you're missing out. I'm Although, much... if I had had these, you wouldn't have stopped. I wouldn't have stopped. I actually think I prefer the middle to this, but in some ways, I think I prefer the chocolate on really? the Reese's. I love how this is like soft. I just feel like the Reese's um, peanut butter cups are really drying in the mouth, yeah, yeah, yeah. whereas this is so smooth and... It's almost caramel. Do you want to finish that? Yeah. It's really hot here in England, so everything's melting. For once. It's a 10. Really? Of course. Of course. I, I probably, I couldn't give that a 10 because I wouldn't like eat that all the time. I really love the inside, but I'm going to give that a 7. I definitely prefer those to Reese's peanut butter cups though. Really? Not mm. Reese's I wonder pieces. what everyone else thinks. I know, I always <laughs> said that before. I wonder what everyone else thinks. Would you rather go for Justine's or would you rather Justine's. go for? Justine's. Justine's. Oh, sorry. Justin's. <laughs> I read that as Justine's. <laughs> uh, Katie's trying to kill us off. We've got another here. Sweet heat. Fruity flavors with a spicy kick. And these are new. Who has seen these before? That's, Skittles. That's cool, because as we've said in some of our other videos, our sweets aren't that often hot. No, we would never get anything like no. this in England. Especially like a mainstream brand like Skittles wouldn't do a hot version, I don't no. think. I wonder how spicy these are to the Sour Patch Kids. And I mm. have seen ahead of time that Katie's also included Sour Patch Kids Fire. We did try these in our last video, so go check that one out as well. Thank you for sending these, Katie. We did actually like them, didn't we? Yeah. And our dad will love these, so, so they, they will, won't go to waste. They will not go to waste. They'll definitely be And we'll enjoyed. share these with our friends and family as well, yeah. won't we? 
Oh, the flavours are lemon spark, <laughs> sizzling strawberry, flaming orange, fiery watermelon, and blazing mango. Ooh, I fancy a blazing mango, you know. Ooh, these look good. Look at the colours. Very pastel. Yeah, and they're all like peachy and pink and. Mmm, nice. Mmm. That's good. Not that hot. Ooh, now I'm feeling the heat. Really? Yeah. Like, can you not in the back of. I think it was the peach one I had. No. Delicious flavour. Really good flavour. Really good flavour. I've got a little kick at the end. Anything oh, else? Oh, the yellow one's got a little kick. Hello. I didn't get it on the orange. The peachy ones. I love the flavours of those. Are they different to the normal? Obviously, the normal, they're fiery. Yeah, different. Because we don't have watermelon, mango. Yeah. We've got strawberry in ours, lemon and orange, but they they just seem totally different to us. Yeah. I wish we had some of those flavours in our Skittles. They're nice because they're not too hot. They've just got mm. like a nice warmth. A little buzz. Yeah. But I would rather them without the heat, mm. but actually they are, they're fine. Yeah. I'm going to give those a seven. I'm giving them a nine. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like them, but I wouldn't go dashing to <coughs> pick some up. No, but you wouldn't dash and pick up some no. would you? Well, that's why. They were really nice. Really nice. Nine. Goodness knows snack squares. Oh, I did think Blueberry they like squares. and almond crafted with dark chocolate. Now, this isn't something mm. I would ever pick up, so it'll be interesting to try this. But these are things- I feel like things... you would pick these up. I'm not sure I'd pick one up, but these are things I like with like Ooh, dark chocolate and almond. Yeah, and it's tray, so very fancy. Do you want to share this with me? Yeah, I can do. It's mm. like a, um, a cereal health bar thing. Mm, it's a good one though. I'm not a big fan of that. No. Dark chocolate. Nutty. In other words, too healthy. <laughs> I just missed it's my It's not as good as these. No, no. Blueberry patch frogs. They're so much better. And they're kind of in a way similar. They're the closest thing on this. Mm -hmm. um, but they're definitely not as good as that. I'm probably going to give those a seven. I'll give those a three. Really? I don't, bad. yeah, I don't like that at all. Really? Sorry, Katie. <laughs> Okay, cranberry bog frogs. Were they called bog frogs? No, these are called patch frogs. These are called bog frogs. These are almost a bit like something out of Harry Potter, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Sweet and dried cranberries and roasted cashews again, smothered with rich caramel and premium milk chocolate. So it's basically the same recipe, mm. but with cranberry. Yeah, it's with cranberries. That's a brilliant, what a name, bog frogs. Mm. Is it good with yeah. the caramel? Oh yeah, I've never had cranberry and caramel before. Mm. There's like something else in there. Is that yeah, just they're chocolate? the cashews. They're delicious. Which one do you prefer though? For some ways I think the blueberry. I think blueberry as well. Cranberry is delicious, don't I get me wrong. I love cranberries. But we don't often have like dried blueberries and things, really, no. do we? So it's a really nice flavour. They are amazing. Mm. They're going to have to be the same as those. Did I give them a nine before? I or gave a ten? mine a ten. I think I gave them a ten. Maybe they're a nine mm, and a half. So good. Cape Cod cranberry candy. Pressed by kind. Yeah, these Pineapple, are by the banana, kind. Um, kale and spinach. So it's like a smoothie, but in a bar. And it says only fruit and veggies, no sugar added. Two servings of fruit. Mm. Good source of fiber. This looks really good. I thought it was going to look like this. Yeah. We have a bar like Doesn't... this here, don't we? A little bit, yeah. Who is it who makes those? I would much rather just eat the fruit. I would rather eat the fruit. I would get so much more enjoyment out of eating a pineapple. Yeah, but I suppose this eating... is on the go and not yeah, everyone can be picking yeah. up fresh fruit. Yeah, but you can, you can eat a banana on the go. Yeah, I just, I would never get that. I never get bars like that. But no. it's okay flavour. It's just, of course, when you have like kale and spinach in something, it's yeah. gonna not taste as good. But the after well, flavour is of a It smoothie, seems isn't unfair it? to compare this to this, because yeah. this is covered in chocolate. Mm -hmm. So this is Sky Bar by the make Neko. I've heard of that. And this isn't to be confused with the Sky Bar in LA. <laughs> and this says four flavours in milk chocolate. We've got caramel, vanilla, peanut and fudge. That's cool. So that's a bit like that milk bar we tried. Yeah. And if you haven't seen us try milk bars, you can This looks really old school, isn't it? That, like... Fancy. How fancy, yeah. Like, I think it who was polite. thought about putting a little tray? Like, yeah, I, don't, I wonder what the reasoning is for it. Because you could just put the chocolate straight in the bag, yeah. surely. So you only get four pieces and they're all different like different flavors which means we're gonna have to try them all so in some ways it's kind of like is that a good bar of chocolate it's good if you want the variety yeah but if you love one so much it's like well hopefully i'm getting the caramel one mm. <gasps> yes yeah, oh, vanilla. Vanilla. Mm. Mm. delicious caramel 
The, the chocolate's not bad to mm. me either, is it? It's quite sugary it's chocolate though. Yeah, I can taste it. Oh, that vanilla looks funny. It's not mm. like a creamy. It's like, if you ever have um, Quality Street or Heroes in England, the middle is like fondant -y. Yeah. It's like a cream egg. That's not fudge, is it? That's chocolate. Yeah. How's the peanut? It's pretty good, actually. There's no um, peanut butter cup, but it's good. Yeah. I wouldn't see that as fudge. Mm. What would you give that? I would give that um, a seven. I would give that a seven as well. I like the idea of the variety, but I just want a whole bar of something I, I Yeah, like. I'd like a whole bar I do of think it's a cool well. idea, and I did enjoy the chocolate. Jelly bellies? Jelly bellies. We've I want some jelly flavors. in my belly. Jelly bellies are expensive. We've Thank you for sending us these. Krispy Kremes. So we got cinnamon apple filled, strawberry iced, glazed blueberry cake, original glazed, Ooh. and chocolate iced with sprinkles. Let's crack those open and this. Take our factory tour, call 0800 JB Beans. And these are candy corn flavoured. There's a fly in the room. This is like one of those bags Ooh, that I, I like. Smell but they're them like, already. Um, it's like plastic. And look, these are actually shaped like candy corn. Is it funny though? They say original. Are they trying to say they're the original makers? Or well, maybe, because it says the snack. original gourmet candy corn, unless... Oh, they've added gourmet. Gourmet, so... They... So I reckon someone else, like, what, what are these? they called? Brax? Bratches Bra or something? Yeah, something like that. They said they were the original, didn't they? Mm. Whereas but these, these say they're the original gourmet. They are a bit more refined. Mm. We still don't get the flavour, it's just like fondant. That is what it is, though. Just icing. Yeah. I, um, I think I prefer these. The bat. Mm. They're fly literally in my face. I, I think, think I prefer these. Yeah, I definitely prefer them, but I still just don't get it. Mm. Lots of people were saying though how it's very it's just a traditional candy yeah. that's put out at Halloween time. Yeah. I get it, but if there wasn't that tradition, then I don't think anyone would eat them. No, probably not. Although some people really love them. Love and I quite stuff. like them. I and would like eating fondant straight. Yeah, I would give those a four. I would really? probably eat one of those energy bars before I ate those. <laughs> I'll give them a seven. I just hope these, I think that's these an crispy original creams place. are better. I hope these are good. Gonna... I tried the Jelly Bellies um, Cold Stone one. Oh, I think this is the chocolate sprinkles here. I was like, how do you get it to taste like a donut? Oh, but in a way they have. Hello. Where's the strawberry one? Oh, there. Oh, there's not sure... two strawberry ones. I'm not sure a, um, it's a Krispy Kreme donut though. No. It's mm. more of an, a McDonald's donut. No. That strawberry glaze is nice. Mm, that is nice. The thing with Jelly Bellies and the limited edition ones I've tried, I always find how some of the new flavours are weird. I think it's because they try to do like chocolate and stuff and it's a jelly. Mm. I personally think the best Jelly Bellies are the ones that are fruity, fruity. flavoured. Fruity and sweet and things like that mm. rather than more chocolatey and... These are good though actually. They're nice mm. but... They're definitely nicer than the cold stone ones. Mm. I would probably give them a seven. If I was going to get any sweets, because I think they're small, they've got nice flavour, yeah. I'd probably go seven on those. I really like trying the different flavours. Mm. I'll probably go um, six on those. Because mm. I remember when we used to go like into London when we were kids, we'd go to Harrods, yeah, and they've got a massive they're... Jelly Belly section yeah. with so many different flavours. The jelly Belly are the classic and mm. the best, really, aren't they? Should we get a Kool-Aid going? Yeah. Now, some people... Keep us refreshed in the heat. Even though we did the first American Candy video, link up there, over a year ago, yeah. people are still commenting to this day about how we made the Kool-Aid. Yeah. I've just realised now that even though we read the directions on the back, everyone and their family are different. Yeah. And it's what is just best for yeah. you. And I couldn't believe there was a whole cup of sugar in it. Yeah. And people were just saying, you don't have to follow the instructions, it's up to you. Yeah. So like if we had Kool-Aid at home. That's just directions I don't, for like the yeah, best. Directions for what they think. Yeah. But then there was, I couldn't believe there are some people out there that say, oh, we put two or three cups yeah. in there. Keep going until <laughs> you see the sugar start to collect at the so bottom. So I think it just depends on what you like. And actually a load of people applauded us for trying the directions. That's good. We, we tried. We are trying the blue raspberry lemonade. Because did we try the tropical punch last time? I think we have tried, no, we tried the like Jamaican punch, oh, didn't yeah. we? So it's not blue yet, but I reckon this will really blew up. So I reckon I'm going to go put some ice in, water, and then just a bit of sugar, shall I? Yeah. This is cool that you've got Kool-Aid on my word. No pun intended. I reckon loads of people um, have these for like parties, do you not think? Yeah. So this is blueberry lemonade. Now there was no colour in the powder, but I thought it was slightly blue, didn't slightly, you? Slightly, but not this. No, not, not this blue. 
Let's see what this one tastes like. Ooh. You can really smell the lemonade, can't you? Yeah. That's good. But I agree with people, I think, although I don't want to, I think you could add more sugar to that oh, to really bring out the flavour. I didn't put the full cup in. Oh, that's why. That'll be why. Yeah. Plus, I bet you could probably do a bit more. Yeah. And, well, for the people that were saying about two cups of sugar, it sounds crazy, two cups of sugar, but it's just going to make it more delicious, isn't it? Yeah. Let's jump in. I don't think I'm going to like a lot of this. What? You don't think you're going to like Mallow Cup? Oh, I it's thought that was cream coconut. Center, I thought that was made coconut. Made in the USA. Milk Ooh, chocolate. Oh, should we try that? Yeah, milk chocolate Mallow Cup. Do you not think, though, this... I definitely haven't seen this in America, yeah. so I wonder if this is more local stuff. Have we tried Mounds before? We've tried... Yes, so and the other we've tried mounds, I think. Marshmallowy. Marshmallowy. And look, you've got like a little tray, but it's actually $2 for every 500 points. Oh yeah, look at that. Thank you. Wow. This oh, looks awesome. Cheers. Hmm. There's a little bit of crunch around the edge. It's got a weird aftertaste. Yeah, that's the thing. I was really enjoying it at first, but then afterwards I was a bit like... Yeah. That's a bit odd. I really like that until the aftertaste, mm. so I'll give that a six. I'll give that a six as well, actually. Can I'm try? quite interested in trying this cherry thing. Yes. Big cherry, this is called. And it's Christopher's, Christopher's. Christ whole cherry center. This does look like a real traditional candy. Yeah. Do you not think? We don't have anything like no, that here. literally nothing. Oh my word. Whoa. It's got crispies or yeah, something. Yeah, looks like it. Want to take a bite? I'll try and read the, the packet. There's like pink stuff. I reckon bottom. that's like... Inside, you've got flavouring or something. <laughs> oh, it's not actually a cherry. Not a real cherry, no. It's like a fondant cherry. Fondant cherry. Like Is that. it nice? Well, I think you're going to like it. Oh, I heard that's hard. Oh, oh yes, there is a oh, cherry. It's right there. It's not really to my like kind of flavour. No. Liking. I actually quite like the. Um, but I pizza. really like it as an idea. It's a mound of milk chocolate sprinkled with peanuts that contain a whole cherry in a rich, creamy centre. That's really cool. I do like Old it. Oldtimecandy.com. But it's not the kind of thing I would. No. I actually quite, I quite like that fondanty middle. Yeah. Shall we uh, try our drink? Yeah. This looks lovely. Family made since 1882. I'm so excited about this Moxie because I a have never seen it before. And B, it doesn't say it what flavour it is. It doesn't say what it is. It says distinctively different. I wonder if it will be like Iron Brew. That's literally sparkling water with Polar cranberry and lime. You love sparkling water, yeah, so try I'm that. It's very massive fan of sparkling water. You can tell that there's no sugar in there. Oh, that's It's 100% nice. natural. I knew you'd love that's that. That's so refreshing. You really like that, don't you? Yeah, and what is it? Cranberry and lime. Cranberry lime. lime. That's so cool. We wouldn't get that mix over here, would we? I like it, but it's more Ooh. of a healthy drink. If you're looking for like a sugary drink, I wouldn't say it's a healthy that. drink. It's just refreshing. No, oh, I know is it it's, root beer? I don't know. I think I feel like it might be. It's, like smells like Coke, I don't but know what that is? That's my phone. Let me try it first before we look it up. That tastes like something. I've had like a chewing gum with that. Like you've been to the dentist or something. It's like minty, minty Coke. Mm distinctively different. Well, it does say it's distinctively different. Boxy is a brand of carbonated beverage that was among the first mass-produced soft drinks in the United States. Really? Yeah. I like the branding. It continues to be regionally popular today, which is probably why we've never seen it, because maybe it is more like in the north. Yeah, maybe. It's no, like, no. It's like a cola. It's, it's definitely weird and different. Yeah, it's, but it's definitely not disgusting. distinctively different, no. It, it is like a uh, medicine-y It's taste. quite enjoyable. Almost like aniseed -y. Mm. I would give the sparkling water, the seltzer, a nine, which sounds crazy, but I love sparkling water. You love sparkling water. water. I'll probably give it a seven. Yeah. The Moxie, I'm going to give a six, because although I like it, I would probably wouldn't I go out I, and buy it. I, I think I prefer it to the sparkling water, oh, yeah. so I'll go seven and a half. Yeah, because you like something with a bit more flavour, don't you? A bit more, you know, a bit of sun and sun. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, I was not expecting that. Is this going to be nutty then? Does yeah, it, say? it says crunchy peanut butter, toasted coconut. Ooh. Now this doesn't scream me either. No, because it's not selfish. Oh, what a texture that's got. Whoa. Is that good? It's like wafer. It's a wafer. No, it's more like the the butterfinger. Wow. Nothing. Mm. Ooh. I said it didn't scream that's me, so but actually that's really nice. It's like you can't taste the coconut. Sweet but light and crispy. There's so many times the in the American candy that. that we have things that are so different to any texture we have. 
We have nothing that's crispy. We have crispy in the inside and chocolate on the outside, but we don't have like crispy well, and sugary on the outside. And people are saying how they don't have crunchies in America, mm. but we don't have things like this. It's almost like their version of honeycomb. Mm. Like look in there. It was funny, when I first bit it, I didn't think I liked it. Oh, I really- But I do like it. I'm so surprised I like that. I'd give that a name. Mm. I'd, I'd give, give that, that higher. Oh, really? In this little pouch, we have Neko Original Candy Wafers. Now, I've seen these loads of times. Candy wafers? Yes, and I'm so intrigued as to know what they are like in person, because I've seen people... Um, and this is a chocolate wafer. Yeah, a chocolate wafer, That's not a, a bubble. bubble. <laughs> um, I've seen these loads of times online. And this was Neko as well, the Star Yeah, Bar. I thought I recognised the, um, the brand. Now, these are really interesting. So Do I you don't, not think these this are pack not what I is so were, American? I thought these were going to be like, um, what are those sweets that are coming? Love hearts. Love hearts. I don't know what these are going to be like at all. Like, they say wafer. We have been asked to try these before. So. I wonder how much these have changed since 1847. Yeah. I'm going for the chocolate ones. Oh my God. Although they don't look very chocolatey. Oh. I think you do actually get chocolate ones in here, look. Not what I was expecting at all. That is a really strange sensation. But really nice. Mm. I actually really like these. I wouldn't say these were wafer. I wouldn't say these are chocolate. They've got like a sweet chocolatey flavour. That flavour's really... It's like they're flavoured chocolate. That's so interesting. I like the crunch. I wouldn't say that's a wafer. No. We've that's had something with wafer in, haven't we? They're like little chips. Mm. Sweet chips. These are strangely good. I've never had anything with that texture before. Never. But well, I quite like the crunch yeah. of that. It's, it's weird, but nice. I'd give I'll it a seven. Yeah, I was going to give it a seven as well, mm. actually. We have peeps! For all my peeps. I reckon they're the, one of the traditional peeps. These oh, are wait, chips. hold on. These probably chips. are the 100% original because chicks are yellow, aren't they? Yeah. I and wonder. These oh, are a little look. special edition. They look so these good. These are peep de peeps delights. Strawberry flavoured marshmallow, naturally and artificially flavoured, dipped in decadent cream flavoured fudge. I'm interested to try these because I think these are going to be a bit more yes, luxurious. Yeah. Well, yeah, it says on the pack. So. I love the fact that they are always attached. Well, you're going to hate these then, aren't you? Because oh, these yeah, are like not. in individual little. It's like you could float oh, them in a bath with you. Look, these aren't actually yellow. They're white inside, but with a yellow sugar. Yeah, I didn't think they were yellow oh, really? all the way through, yeah. Mm. It's got a little, the like, two The marshmallow is so soft. This is the best marshmallow I've ever had. Oh, they were good, though. Now, loads of people said that they actually mm. like peeps once they've become more stale. stale. I agree. I love them fresh, but I also love them stale. This one feels a bit more stale. It's more firm. The flavour of that is amazing. I don't, it reminds me of something and I don't know what it is, but it's so good. Wow. Hold the phone. Hello. <laughs> Completely different texture. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's because they're not attached. These are incredible. The strawberry flavour on that is I so good. I was just about to say that. Strawberry's amazing. Mixed with the fudge, the creamy fudge. So nice. Does that remind you of the Baskin Robbins thing we tried from Japan Candy? Oh, it does. That's what I was thinking. I couldn't think what it was. That is so good. Oh my word, these are a 10 out of 10. So good. They're 11, they're 11. I Incredible. think I'm going to give them a 10 as well. They're amazing. Normal peeps for me this time are a 9. Yeah. These are a 10. Last time peeps were a 10 for me, but because of that flavour, it makes so these good. not as good, but mm. they are still delicious. Wow. Wow. She's been kind enough to give us some pure maple syrup. Oh wow. Maple syrup's expensive. Yeah. Oh my word, this is the cutest little Ziploc bag ever. This is Moose Hill Provisions Pure Maple Syrup. That looks oh, awesome. that is the perfect little bottle, isn't it? That little bottle is $3. Grade A, amber colour, rich taste. Should we just put a little bit on our finger or something? Yeah. Oh, hello. Because obviously we've got some maple syrup here in England, but it's not like this pure stuff, is it's it? It's not grade A. Do you know what I like to do? What? A little bit behind my <laughs> Although we haven't tried this on anything, this Moose Hill... It's delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. It's a 10. You know, like you see people who love hot sauce, they have like and a little hot sauce. If you were really into your maple syrup and you're going, say, to an IHOP, <laughs> and you weren't so sure about IHOP's maple syrup, you just take this with you. <laughs> and it's and discreet then, enough yeah. that you would know. And also, sometimes when you go to those restaurants, they don't give you enough. No. I feel me. like we've been on an epic journey through yeah, all this look, food. Yeah, look, we've got two things left. 
Cut, these are minis pop. and these are banana flavour. Now, loads of people were saying to us in the comments after we tried Moon Pie that there's different flavours. So, now like I a small. I see why people said you should microwave them. Oh, wow. Because the marshmallow kind of like blows out in the middle. It's really like popped out. Yeah. It's like a small, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 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 Ready? Mmm. So much better. Is it? Banana. -y. Wow, it's hot. Banana buttery. I agree. Oh, so so good. much better in the microwave. Mm. And I was kind of thinking, unless you're at home, how would you put it in the microwave? But in a lot of American service stations, they have like where you can pick this kind of thing up, mm. they have microwaves, don't they? That is so much better microwaved. Mm. I wish we did that with the chocolate one. I really like that. I think I could give that a nine, you know. I can be up there as well. Mm. Oh, guys, I'm so glad so we microwaved good. it. So much better. It's a whole better. different experience. Yeah. It turns it, the sponge into a different. Well, it made feel it as feel well, fresh it? as opposed to it just being kind of like a bit of a stale. Because it could have been a bit dry before, mm. wasn't it? No. That was really nice. That's a great. nine from us. Nine from us. And then our last thing naturally and artificially flavoured sweetened corn and oat cereal. It's a really small box though. Yeah, that's cool think. though, isn't it? Full to the top though. Oh, cool, yeah, I like that. <laughs> Got some of the things in. These all kind of taste like the Japanese things, won't it? Mm. I always thought it was Captain Crunch, and I always wondered why everyone was going Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. And that's because it literally says Captain Crunch, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh, they are good. Nice blueberry uh, flavour. Have we had Captain Crunch? I don't or have think we so. just had um, our golden nuggets, or our mm. version? Mmm. They're really good, and the blueberry flavour is nice, isn't it? I think I would actually prefer these without milk. Mmm. Sometimes. This is a snack. Sometimes sweet cereal in America, I just prefer as like a snack. Mm. The milk makes it a bit weird. Sickly. This is a limited edition flavour. That's so good. I really like this little box. That and is so cute. They do have a pancakey taste as well. Yeah. What are you giving that? I'm going to give that a nine. Mm, these it, are nice. But the funny thing is, it's not the kind of thing I'd eat for breakfast. No. But I would just put my hand in and have some. Yeah, very nice. Mm. We're not the biggest sweet breakfast fans, are mm. we? We. I would happily have pancakes. But not like first thing. It'll Although be more you of a might brunch. think differently, I like to start the day quite savoury. Mm. It's probably only after lunch I could eat something sweet. I can eat bre pancakes for breakfast, but usually it's a later start to the day, mm. isn't it? Bre uh, like pancakes. That'd be like brunch. Yeah, brunch. I love this little box. I can't get over it. That's so cute. They're really nice. I really like those. Oh, what a great way to finish! Whoa! That's so much stuff. I don't so even know stuff. how much stuff. I think we've gone from tasting food to uh, a mukbang. <laughs> that was incredible. Katie, you definitely spoiled us. You filled that with so many amazing things. And what's really nice is I feel like you filled it with loads of local things to you. Yeah. You and also that? things that are like really interesting that yeah. we might not have tried before. And that's the thing, like, because Katie's probably watched loads of our other previous videos, she's probably wanted to send us other things, mm. but she knows that we've tried them. Yeah. So she's really gone out her way and tried to find different things that we haven't tried. Yeah, so much stuff. Really nice. And thank you for our little hat. We'll be able to pop that on our shelf oh, in our yeah. office. This is so cool. Really cute. I love it, yeah. We'll have little collections from Boston Red Sox. Things. So thank you so very much. Yeah, and to say thank you, we're going to send you one of our ultimate candy boxes, and we hope you like trying our British candy. Yeah, I can't wait to hear what you think about our candy. We'll get in touch with you, and we'll send one of those out very soon. But guys, if you want to get yourself one of our British candy boxes, we'll leave a link down below oh, and up there, and you can go check out our boxes. Yeah, it's a monthly subscription box, and we send you our favourite British candy. Yeah. And we select it every month what we're loving, yes. you know, what's really popular. So it's different each month, so um, every every month will be something different yeah. and delicious. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, I enjoyed that so much. I would even go as far as saying I love that. Yeah, I love that so very much. I'm very full, but I can't wait till I'm a bit hungry later and I can snack on some yeah. of it again. <laughs> anyway, we hope you enjoyed that, guys, and we'll see you very soon with the next subscription box. Bye, guys. See ya.